Sports ministry is one of the most effective means for reaching, rescuing, rooting and releasing children, youth and families in the way of Christ. Welcome to an introduction to sports ministry. Did you know there are about 8,000 sports played around the world? And did you know that the most popular sport, I'm sure you know this, is soccer or football as it's called in many parts of the world. The least popular sport is wife caring. I've never tried that. <laughs> and uh, the most dangerous sport is base jumping. The oldest sport is wrestling. There are so many sports. Children are very involved in sports. 40% of children worldwide play team sports. 35% of girls and 60% of boys say sport is very important to them. With so many children involved in sports, what do you think are the most popular sports played by children? Now I know this varies from country to country, but just thinking about your region, your nation, List what you think the top 10 sports would be for children. Some of the really popular sports in North America are soccer and basketball and baseball, dance, swimming, cycling, running, athletics, gymnastics, and a whole lot more. But those are some of the top ones. The power to unite people together through sport should not be underestimated. At its best, sport does three things. One, it helps people overcome difficulties. People have, have ability difficulties. There are gender biases. There are socioeconomic differences. Sport helps us overcome those difficulties. Secondly, sport builds bridges. It connects people from diverse backgrounds. And thirdly, sport is a common language. It draws us together around something that we share. The power of sport. What is sport? Consider your definition, write it down. Let me tell you my definition of sport. Sport is all forms of physical sensory activity that may be competitive or non-competitive in nature. It may be casual or it may be organized. It may take the form of play or a game. It may be done by individuals or teams. And it may or may not involve equipment, apparatus, animals or machines. So sport is very broad. It involves all sorts of things. First Timothy 4 verse 8 says, physical training has some value. So what is the value of sport? Well, as the verse suggests, there is a physical value. Fitness, 
There's a great value from sport. Then there's social value to sport. We get together in community. We do things with others. We build relationships. Coupled to that, there is emotional value. We have to learn to deal with competition. We have to struggle with how our feelings are going up and down. And of course, there is intellectual value. Leadership training is so good within the, the, the forum of sport. So there's many, many good things that come from sport. So now we've spoken about sport, what it is, what is sports ministry? Well, here's my basic definition. Sports ministry is intentionally valuing and using the medium of sport to connect people with Jesus and his story. Now there are two things that we need to think about when we think about sports ministry. One, sports ministry is empowered by God himself. It's the work of the Holy Spirit in and through his people to connect people with Jesus and his story. And secondly, sports ministry is about reconciliation. It's about us joining God in the work of reconciling the world to him so that they can live for him. So who is sports ministry for? When I was younger, I played rugby. In fact, this is my game. I coached it, I refereed it. So I was fully immersed in it. So you'd say, okay, sports ministry is for somebody like Lawson because he was a rugby guy. But I want you to watch this. And then when you finish watching this, tell me who you think sports ministry is for. So who is sports ministry for? Everyone. But it's particularly for children and youth. Did you know that 50% of the world's population are under 19 years of age? That positions them evangelistically and missionally as, as the primary field, the primary focus for sports ministry. Let's reach children and youth anywhere and everywhere. So now that we know that sports ministry is for everyone, who can be involved in it? The answer is the same. Everyone. You don't have to be a sports person to be involved in sports ministry. You can be a banker, you can be an administration, you can be a lawyer, you can be a pastor, you can be a teacher, you can be a social worker. Everyone can be involved in sports ministry. So as we wrap up this workshop, what is the goal of sports ministry? It's to help children, youth and families get closer and closer to Jesus. So what are the next steps? How do you do it? I've got my volleyball with me. It's got the Nike swish on it. It says, just do it. We want you to just do it. Here are two suggestions. Number one, stop and think about the facilities in your area, right where you live. What facilities are there in the churches? What municipal facilities are there? What facilities are there in the schools? Once you've thought about that, number two, think about how you can connect with the children, youth and families who are already playing sport, doing sport, 
And as you connect with them, think about how you can connect them with Jesus. Sports ministry isn't difficult. All you need is a bat. Here's my cricket bat from when I was a child. And a ball. And you can do it. Are you ready? Let's jump in. Woo! <laughs>